By the end of this, Aaron's going to lose his other eye? Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe more than that. Um, you find another set of double doors uh, that read Freight Elevator, and uh, they're closed. And you're in a space that easily has room for vehicles, um, supplies, there's even some walkways. Uh, a few of which lead to doors, and one of which leads to a door that is into what looks like a security post. Um, I'll stop and check the body of the guy in the vehicle. Uh, yeah, he's in the U.S. Army. Uh, what's his dog tag say? His dog say, tag says, uh, uh, Private Rob, Robert, Robert, uh, Robinson. There we go. That's the last name version of that name. Okay. Um, I'll take the dog tags, see if I can come to his family later if we actually get out of here. Alright, you start collecting uh, dog tags in order to get the achievement. Collect all the dog tags. Um, um, I, I head into that office. Me? Security post. But yeah, um, you approach the door to the... <coughs> By the way, Aaron, in searching his body, you find a uh, key card. Okay. Uh, and, right on cue, trying to get into the security office... Hey, presto, it's locked. It needs a key card. <laughs> hey, Aaron, get over here. Okay. No. He's like, he, over. like, holds up the, the, the card when he gets it. He's like, I found a card! And then we'd, like, try it. He's like, damn it. We I need, need a card! I think, uh, it's like, fucking... What? <laughs> yeah, it happens practically simultaneously that he pops up saying, I've got a card, and you say, I need a card. And then you look at each other and you're like, eh. <laughs> 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 um, okay, you insert yeah, the key card. Uh, Viva Presto, the security post opens. It's a small cubicle room where a guard would look out on the proceedings, and also there's a control panel with buttons. Push all the buttons. <laughs> That's it. I just, just like smashing the buttons. <laughs> um, no, I, I uh, is there anything else interesting I see in there, or what do uh, these buttons seem to control? No, you can't tell what any of these buttons control, so the interesting thing is the buttons. Um, okay. Well, you can't control by looking. You can roll to determine their function, or you can say, I press random buttons. Press I'm rolling buttons. a D8. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. No. Uh, you end up pressing random buttons anyway on a one. Um, or you're really convinced that this is the button you need. You press it, and the effect of it is that the, uh, the door to the outside, which is uh, pried open by the Humvee, proceeds to close the rest of the way, uh, finishing crushing the Humvee and uh, cutting off your uh, escape. Perfect. But no, that don't worry, I got this. That's, that eliminates the brown button. That How many other buttons are there? Closes that outside door. I push my way in and say, let me try. Alright, you try. I hit another button. I hit another button. Four. Aaron, uh, you press a rant button. Ah. Um, and the freight elevator doors open. Uh, uh, large and in charge. But meanwhile, Cecil has also declared that he presses a random button. Um, the effect of which... Uh, is to turn on an intercom on the wall, uh, and he turns it on, and it cuts into static. Oh, don't play, don't play yodel. Um, <laughs> and you silence because pressing the button is is turning on your mic. Uh, oh thank God! Okay, I thought I was gonna start playing yodeling music. I was gonna freak out. Uh, other than the keyboards, <laughs> anything else of note in the room? No, just more buttons and the <clears throat> intercom that you notice. Okay. Looks like we need to head down the freight elevator. Agreed. I'll walk over to there. All right, the freight elevator is massive. It can eat. It, it's also co uh, covered in big, like cargo-ish uh, wooden crates um, that have various labels on them, and even a vehicle that is uh, uh, just you know chilling there, waiting to be driven out. Apparently. What kind of vehicle? Humpy. Jeep. Natural. Okay, uh, I'll take a look at it and see if it's in good repair and whatnot. Yeah, it seems to be in army grade condition. You've seen plenty of these in your time. Uh, okay. It's just, you know, on an elevator. So there's a very clear, big switch uh, <clears throat> for when you're on the elevator to get it to go. So do you guys throw the switch? Yes. Yep. Yep. 
You guys yep. so switch, you start to descend into the bowels of the mountain. Um, as you do about halfway down, uh, the elevator slows suddenly, and then stops completely for a brief moment, and then it starts going again. Um, oh, it's probably just a distance, corpse or something. In the distance, you hear a sickening crack as a pair of legs falls with a splat onto the elevator surface from uh, the seeing heights at the top of the elevator. At, at this point, I'm not sure if I can, if he, if Ben would even react. Uh, the legs are covered in uh, army camo, so again, this was some poor soldier. Yeah, some, uh, maybe besides um, a jump back, I, but other than that, it's just like, Jesus Christ, another body. I look up. I'd rather I, have to see where they came from. You're like, eh. Yeah, it came from somewhere at the top of the elevator. <clears throat> Uh, configuration in some mechanism somehow some soldier got himself caught uh, yeah. and then you uh, freed him I kick him into a corner <laughs> thank Cecil, you so Cecil's, top Cecil's starting to become pretty uh, carefree you reach the bottom and the elevator door is open you see another corridor um okay. This is if uh, this is a supply type area. There are boxes stacked all over the place. Vehicle stuff, um, perhaps used to carry uh, rubble or, or, or something. Um, you see another guard post to your left, and you see an elevator to your front. But this elevator is not a freight elevator. It looks more like a large personal elevator, like uh, the type you might find in a hospital, um, big enough to uh, carry things with you, but not as uh, large as or, or it's still got nice silver doors. It's not like a great like, <coughs> not big enough for a humping. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna check out that uh, little office thing again. Yeah, the guard station. It requires a key card. You have the key card. It opens. It's the same thing, only this time on the bottom floor. Yep. I'm gonna be kind of hanging back a bit. There's the also a ahead. hallway past and beyond this particular guard station. All right, I'm gonna continue down the hallway. Yeah, I'm, I'm following. I'm, I'm joining him. The hallway starts slowly descending. It passes uh, um, some gas tanks, uh, multiple gas tanks. Only the only one is pictured here. But down the hallway, you see things that you know, live hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. As you go along, um, all types of gas tanks storing all sorts of propane, propane accessories. Um, you're uh, Eventually, you uh, come to another down-sloping hallway, and this leads to a staircase. I descend. Yeah. You open the staircase, and the staircase descends several floors. Um, it only lets out in one place, on the presumable bottom floor, and you guys find yourself uh, with uh, hallways stretched out in um, either uh, direction. Is it still light down here? Yeah, there's light all over the place. Uh, sort of red emergency light. I just realized, where are me and Aaron? You guys have been following. Yeah. Yeah. All right, just making sure. Cool. I um, I walk around the left corner. Um, uh, I'm, I just we'll keep following. Aside, everybody go. On the left, uh, you see doors labeled bathroom <sighs> and doors labeled mess hall. All right. I uh, turn back to the right and walk down that way. On the right, you see a door labeled Analysis. Right. Uh, immediately first. Alright, we'll go in there. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna say. I'm going to come back. Also, wait. Just a quick question. John, do you have... The, you have the shotgun, right? Correct. Then that means I have the rifle. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. yeah, you have the rifle with the broken scope. The Analysis room looks like a sort of office cubicles. Um... Computers, papers are strewn <laughs> everywhere. The computers all display various things um, which you could pot potentially try and decipher with an intelligence role. No, uh, I'm not gonna try and do anything of the sort. Basically, right. I'm trying to find something that is suspicious to the point where almost it's unnatural. And so far, this looks like a generic office to me. Well, with papers strewn about everywhere and computers flashing things uh, that look kind of serious, but... Uh, oh, okay. All right, man. Oh. What are the computers flashing? I'm, I'm going to pop down at one of the computers, and I'm going to hope that yeah, I actually... Roll. 
to try and decipher what they're they're trying to to say. So I'm I'm gonna attempt to decipher this using my computer knowledge. Yeah, I got no idea. No, yeah, it's better than a one. Well, you get uh, sort of clairvoyant knowledge. So what? Um, they're all cycling through the same series of images. One, uh, it goes, you know, danger, uh, uh, containment breach, uh, danger, containment breach, danger, containment breach. Then this it's is like, a CP. Then it cycles into a uh, mm. status report from expedition number uh, 226. Um, that's the title. It's a bunch of transcript data that just breezes by too quickly for you to read um, and then the next is a uh, image that looks like a thermal readout that seems to be tracking some uh, moving thermal image in in some space somewhere um okay okay then so there's another room, the server's behind that. What's out What's out further in the hallway that we just came from? Uh, you see a big, big door um, in uh, to the end of the right, and it's got a big nuclear symbol on it. I don't think we want to open that. You said there was a moving image on those monitors? Yeah, um, it cycles at one point to a uh, space. It looks like a... Uh, uh, a roughly sort of uh, circular, maybe stomach-shaped space, um, and uh, there are the uh, there are tracking lines that are tracking what looks like a heat source that moves through an otherwise cold space, um, and it tracks it as it moves through this uh, this space. Okay, I want to head down the extra hallway on the on the left then. Yeah. All right, ignoring the room marked uh, nuclear. Uh, and what down. hallway? Move down. The left one, the one that's like here. Yeah, right. Um, that. Oh, that one. Okay. Uh, I'll head down the other one. All right, we all head down things. You find. Um, if you go down the right one, you see one marked stores. If you go down the left one, you see the next room is marked general dorms. Um. Where's Stan lieutenant dorms? Uh, 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 fuck you. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'm going really to. really should uh, be splitting up. Yeah. Nothing bad's happened yet. Well, uh, getting a bad feeling from all of this. I'm. I'm probably just gonna run back to them and uh, tell them what I found, since I was the only one that went down the other hallway. All right. Yeah. I found some general dorms, but I didn't go down to the end of the hallway because I was scared. Says Ben. That's all right. Oh, I understand. This, this shit is spooky, yo. I'm gonna continue down the hallway. Me and uh, John were going down. Yeah, alright. I was going with you guys. You wanna yeah, go not, further down just... the hallway on the right? You're not going in any of these doors. No. Not, not yet, not yet. I kinda wanna know what's marked and. Uh, was the door. Something was this quite place right exciting. here? That was the uh, nuclear door? Yes, the nuclear symbol. But you guys okay. find something quite exciting going down the, the right hand. <coughs> you see a door marked. Oh. Oh. We should stop no. in there. Totally stopping in there. We should be, be cautious with stopping in there. Yeah. So you guys go in the armory? Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hop right in there. Um, Aaron Lager, you've been in a lot of uh, quartermaster um, armories in your time in the military. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like nothing you've ever seen. Um, every piece of hardware you can ever imagine is here. Every piece of personal armor you could ever imagine is here. And a lot of stuff that you couldn't imagine also appears to be here. Uh, you guys all get to decide literally anything to kit yourselves out with. And the event um, also restores all dice pools. Wow. wow. So well, this right. is like the, the, the scene in any video game before you fight the final boss, I guess. <laughs> oh, <man>. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, so I assume there's like full, like literally military grade body armor in here, right? Yes. I'll grab they a set of that. Duty, where they've got that bomb proof armor? They got that. Yeah, I'll grab a set of that. Yep. Alright, that's gonna, um, that that level of body armor hampers your movement somewhat. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably already gonna be hampered in movement anyway, so. So, yeah, you're a little hampered in yeah. movement, but you can get that armor. Anybody else? What are you calling out? I am going to get the best body armor I can get that doesn't make me move at the speed of snail. 
Yeah, sure. You can get just full body soldier armor. That works. Yep. Uh, you said anything I can think of. Literally anything that can think of that uh, it well exists, and some things that don't, but not ridiculous amounts of some things that. Isn't don't. it just like a normal Kevlar vest then? Um, I'd probably dragon skin full body. <laughs> nice. What about uh, mithril chainmail? Get some of that. <laughs> no, dragon skin is the name of a uh, polymer. Uh, oh, face. okay. Yeah, it's literally. Yeah. A <laughs> I think you're making a yeah, fucking dragon, joke. Uh, there, dragon skin's a real thing. I right. wasn't literally joke. Like, there's a pot. There's a yeah. I'll there's just grab. Special. So I would just grab that. Um, <clears throat> I w I wouldn't. I would maybe grab like. I don't know, uh, a leg holster for like a revolver or something like that. Yeah, no, I need totally. a better I need a yeah, better um, gun than this rifle because it's it's uh, stop is shot, literally shot. And you know those A twenty shotguns, the ones with the drum. Yeah, oh, yeah. I get one of those. Yeah, yeah, you get a drum shotgun. You got that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna drop off my pistol and see if I can find a uh, forty five caliber. Yeah, I know you guys can do all of those things. I do yeah. want to point out that there are all sorts of flavors of explosives in here as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're going to grab some grenades. Grenades, uh, C4, satchel charges, rocket launchers. Yeah. Things um, that look like explosives but are not particularly clear what they are. I, uh, I don't want to touch those. Th those might blow up in my face. Is there I'm any uh, radio grab... radioactive items in here? Like a radioactive vest? Not vest, but like a... <laughs> No, there's no nuclear symbols in here. Damn. But there was well, that no. nuclear symbol on the big door down the hall. No, I don't mean a nuclear symbol, but like, is there something that looks like a radioactive suit that I could use to go into that room? Uh, mm. well, no. Um, but, uh, perhaps if you further investigated the door with the radioactive symbol on it, you would learn, uh, things in that regard. Okay. Um, um I am... Yeah, I'm gonna drop off pistol as well and grab a, a much I guess I'll drive a forty five as well. Uh the right two. fine drop off man. What do you what would be the most unrealistic thing I can grab for a replacement to a rifle? Minigun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a minigun. It's a minigun. Well you know what I mean. I'm talking about things that aren't actually in reality yet. A real uh, gun? There are rifles that look uh, not like other rifles in the stores here, but it's not clear what they are or what they do. Yeah, I get the yeah, gold gun, gun that's in there. there. Uh, <laughs> nothing, that looks um, like, nothing that would look like something out of like, um, sci-fi, like uh, something that no. might look like a future sign of a rail gun. No. Okay, just making clear, just making sure. Alright, I just don't want this to take 20 goddamn minutes. Nah, I shouldn't Okay, just give, a dog. just give me the dog. I'm just gonna take the best yeah, damn rifle. Yeah. Right. I'm People literally have... throwing on body armor, assault rifle, and a better pistol, that's it. And like a couple grenades. Like I'm grabbing right. the best yeah, rifle. I'm grabbing... It looks like the best rifle to me. Alright. I'm grabbing two satchel chargers and two blocks of C4, and that's it for me. Alright, I've got some explosives finally, or and someone else yeah. has grenades. Alright, so, uh, now what do you guys do? There's still a lot of the facility you haven't explored, but you're now fully kitted out. Since I'm wearing full armor now, I'll take the lead and we'll continue looking around. Alright, where do you want to go, um, though? I see this door over here. Yeah? Is that a door? Uh, can we that, go through there? That is labeled soldier dorms. We don't need to go in there. <laughs> Did you say we don't need to go in there? Yeah. You don't need to go in there, but it's labeled soldier's dorms. Okay. Honestly, what we're trying to find here is not going to be found in a bedroom. Yeah, we'll we'll avoid that for now. Uh, we'll head yeah. back out the way we came from. Yeah. And head out the hallway? Yep. Let's examine the nuclear door. Don't go into it, just look at it. No, let's, let's check around the rest of the area first. Yeah, in case there's little jam. girls with, like, headless things running around. Check right. here first. Give me a specific direction of what you check, sorry. If we, I'm gonna go out and make a left. Yeah, yeah you make we'll go left, left as well, right here. Um, left, you see a long hallway, boom. Um, and the two doors are marked laboratory. That's where right. we need to go. What's yep. the one right here marked? Uh, can you ping it? Uh, if you right. investigate the one to your right, it is just a big sort of um, shutter lens door that's sealed. Okay. okay. You know what I mean by it's shutter lens? Like, like a yeah. virus? It's like a James Bond one that opens up in the middle and is a big circle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna head towards the laboratory now then. It's probably what's best the, place to well, start. first, what's this one as well? This door over here? Uh, if you go all the way down there, it's labeled guard post. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's walk into the laboratory room, I think. Yeah, I wanna yeah. check the laboratory, laboratory room. The laboratory, laboratory, shockingly, looks like a laboratory. It's got beakers and testing things is and centrifuges for testing things in beakers and Bunsen burners. I turn um, to the group and I'm like, I don't know what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on a second, because I'm not done with the description yet, asshole. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, along all the shelves, and there are many shelves, and on several, like, carts and wheelies and dollies, there are what appear to be uh, ceramic uh, artifacts. Like... Uh, Strange what, what, nature and strange design, but stranger oh. still is in the center of this room, um, in some sort of scanning device that also suspends it weightlessly in the air, is a perfectly circular um, torus, which is to say, a donut. Um, a, 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 uh, it's a it's a donut basically, but it's made out of ceramics, um, and it's perfectly smooth and circular. Uh, and it floats seemingly um, suspended in the air in the middle of this laboratory and it's apparently being scanned and there's a bunch of readings coming out on like ticker tape from the scan. D10, D10, reading it. What do I, what do I know? Nine. Oh my yes. god, damn, dude. Finally, uh, finally. The, uh, first of all, you can, you can tell that you read um, that uh, fr a report from Saturday um, of this week reads that this uh, <coughs> artifact um, which was previously on the shelf became active and it started putting out energy and they don't know why. So they put it in this uh, scanning device to scan its energy outputs, which you also read, and it shows um, a steadily increasing energy output over the last uh, four days, five days until today. So this this floating donut is putting out energy is essentially the thing. Can I touch the donut? Yes, you can touch the donut. Do you want to touch the probably donut? Probably shouldn't. I'll it feels it. perfectly smooth. Touch it. Uh, uh, the act of touching it um, causes it to be dislodged from its weightlessness, and it, it falls in, uh, onto your hand. It's it's larger than your hand, but you hold it, and it's fine. It's safe. Mm. I like uh, I throw it at the ground as out of the thing. It just hits the ground, but there's no damage caused. I shoot it with the shotgun. You Bolt. shoot the shotgun and the bullets ricochet off. Damn. Uh, this thing is nothing I've ever seen before. Something there's actually a lot seen. of that all along all the walls. Um, this Taurus, which is made out of some sort of brownish uh, ceramic material, but also seems perfectly smooth, is the same sort of brownish ceramic material that apparently all of the artifacts that are lined on all of the shelves appear to be. If I put another artifact inside of the floating thing, do the readouts look different, or does it still look like it's collecting energy? Yeah, if you put it in the floating thing, um, there's no energy output from any of the other things. But if I put the, the donut one back in, does the yep. energy... Okay. So this, this Taurus is putting out energy. But it should be noted uh, that you don't see any safety equipment, any radiation suits, any hazard things. Uh, no one in the laboratory seemed to be frightened of it. Okay, well, I guess I'll pocket it. Uh, yeah. It's too big for your pocket, but you could quite easily put it in like a uh, duffel bag or a backpack. Okay, well, sure, I'll put that it's in. It's about it's 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 sort of like. Um, it's a little bit bigger than a dinner plate in its circumference. Okay. All right. Just, just to, just to put that in perspective. Is it heavy? No, it's quite light. Okay. All right. Um. Uh. So, was there? Um. I want to go take a look at this iris door. Yeah, iris door. Yeah. Is All there right. anything yeah. like that shows how it can be opened? Like, is there a control panel next to it or something? There is a key card again. Um. Right. But the card you do have does not work. Okay. Let's. How about we go to the guard post? Sure. Yep. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, if you go to the guard post, um, what you see is uh, a guard post. Cool. Sidion. Um, 
there's a mounted uh, there's a, a there's a mounted gun. It's nothing big, and it doesn't look like it was ever used or even prepared to be used. Because beyond that is what appears to be um, a uh, a big seal tight door um, and sort of bunker like uh, cement slits that you can look through. Um, and on the other side of that is sort of a boarded up mine shaft. So that's like like over here. Yep. Yeah. See, um, okay. you essentially see this. Okay, alright. Alright. Let's check out the rest of the area around here. Yeah, does, uh, is, is this just a connecting hallway here? Yep, but there is... Something right there. Probably yeah. a bathroom for the dorms. Maybe, but you would have to actually enter one of these rooms to... Yeah, see why don't we dorms. enter through the general dorms? Yeah, let's head through the general dorms. You enter the general dorms. It is a series of bunks with, like, uh, you know, uh, lockers and chests to store things. Um, and uh, nothing seems out of the ordinary. This door is labeled showers. Got uh, it. Check around, see if you can find a, uh, another key card. Yeah, yeah I'm going to check out the soldiers' dorms. I'm Inside the soldiers' dorms. Oh, nope, I can't find anything. Yep, can't find, find shit. Inside the dorms, uh, it's much the same setup, but obviously it's been delineated to be a different place for some reason. Um, and, uh, yes, they also have their own showers. Okay. Yeah. The only place we haven't checked, the only trouble place we haven't checked yet would be the bathroom. Right? Well, there's oh. actually qu quite a few places you haven't looked uh, closely at. You yeah. haven't entered the showers. Yeah. You haven't entered the mess hall. You haven't entered the storeroom, and therefore you haven't seen its yeah. adjoining rooms. You haven't, you haven't entered the server room either. Yeah. And you haven't entered the server room, and you didn't inspect closely on the uh, door marked radioactive. Uh, I'm just going to put a little more on the things we haven't looked at yet. Can we um, go down to the mines, or is that boy blocked? It's it's uh, over here. It's very blocked. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna check out these soldiers' dorm showers and see if there's anything interesting in there. Yeah, I'll head back to them in the soldiers' dorms. Uh, in the soldiers' dorms showers, uh, you hear the sound of a shower on. Oh god. I'm pulling out my weapon. <laughs> my weapon's already out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I have I, my assault rifle out. I'm still in the general dorms. And, uh, I'm gonna... You know, like peek around the showers, like check the corner where the shower is coming from. Uh, what you find in that shower is a. It, he he had Wait. someone talking to him. So. I know. Yeah. It just felt like we got sopranoed. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> I would have done it a long time ago just to go to bed. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh. In the sh in. in <laughs> In the soldier showers, you find uh, in the one that's on a soldier. Um, uh, he's not. He's not alive. Um, he's uh, slouched against the side of the shower, staring up into the on faucet with his mouth open, and his mouth is filled with water, and it's it's pouring out. Okay then. I I walk out. <laughs> um, Dead body. Yeah, I, I just, I'm done with it. Um, when everybody else is kind of done doing their things, my next thing is I'm going to check the mess hall, and what I'm assuming is probably the kitchen connected. Does I'm anybody go with him into the mess hall? I'm, um, first, I'm going to check the general dorm showers. The general dorm showers are empty. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go with you some. Yeah, I'll go to the mess hall now. As all of you enter the mess hall, the site that immediately greets you is five soldiers playing poker at a table. One of them is smoking. And they're all oh, still like, alive? seemingly alive. Oh, seemingly alive. All right, I raise my gun and say, all right, y'all, put your fucking hands in the air. Uh, they continue their poker game on the base. I shoot them straight up. I just start shooting them. 